Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. This will be a you and them love reading where I will look at your energies as well as the energies of the person that you are in a connection with. This will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will be a general reading, so will not resonate with everyone watching. Keep that in mind, maybe only some of the message will resonate with you and that's okay. Check back next week if it doesn't resonate for you at all. Alright Sagittarius, let's get into it. Sagittarius spirit regarding the person they are thinking about at this time huge thank you to everyone who has liked shared commented and subscribed I really appreciate it I'm using the wild unknown animal spirit deck here what it is the energy that Sagittarius is bringing to this connection spirit what is the energy that Sagittarius is bringing to this connection Interesting, we got moth and rabbit. The rabbit is kind of um, very fearful, um, very anxious energy. They're always worried that the worst will happen. Um, the moth though, it's like something is drawing you in with the moth. Let me look real quick at the keywords of the rabbit and then I'll look at the keywords of the moth rabbit keywords are afraid of everything overwhelmed and frozen and then the moth impulsive hasty wishful grass is greener on the other side we're attracted to the shiny and new interesting so I feel like you see the you know, possibly you are uh, interested in something that is very new and alluring. Maybe this is the person that you are thinking about here where they're, you know, new to you or attract you in some way. But I feel like at the same time, you're kind of worried. So let's see Sagittarius. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is in a connection with. What are their energies in this connection? The person that Sagittarius is in a connection with. What are their energies in this connection? Okay, lamb. Ooh. So maybe there's something here that you, either your person needs to tell you or wants to tell you, or some sort of message that you are going to receive. Now the lamb... Let me see the keywords to the lamb. Peaceful, prophetic, patient, the bearer of an important message. So um, I feel like your person has something to say to you. Um, I feel like they're also willing to be patient um so two very different energies here and just because i'm saying that this is you sagittarius and this is your person feel free to reverse the roles if they resonate because energy can be flipped but in the interest of not confusing people watching i'm just going to say this is your person so um very different energies here one of you is a little bit kind of like on high alert um almost like an impulsive energy. And then one of you is very um, kind of peaceful and patient and go with the flow with the lamb. And they have something to say. So we'll see if that comes out here when I do the tarot. So I'm using the Light Sears Tarot today for Sagittarius Spirit. Messages for Sagittarius regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. Messages for Sagittarius, please. What do need to know about this person? So I'm going to be looking at your energies, your person's energies, and the mutual energies between you. But please remember that not, you know, it might not resonate with everyone watching. And, you know, if it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. It just wasn't your reading this time around. And that's perfectly fine. 
Just because you're watching this particular video doesn't mean this reading is for you. All right, let's get into this. I do reversals on my channel as well. So if reverse cards come out, please don't comment that there's a lot of reversals because yeah, I can't control the message. It's whatever comes out in the cards. All right, it's for Sagittarius. Let's start with you, Sagittarius. Spirit, tell me about Sagittarius and their thoughts or feelings in this connection. What are their energies in this connection at this time? What are their thoughts or energies in this connection at this time, Sagittarius, please? Okay, I want to. Ten of Cups Reverse and Knight of Cups. I feel like some of you are kind of... um either waiting for an offer of love or waiting for an apology. And I feel like there's disappointment surrounding this, whether you're waiting for an apology or whether you're waiting for an expression of love. There's something that's a little bit disappointing or heartbreaking. What else can you tell me about Sagittarius? I am gonna clarify most of these, so this is just the initial message that I'm getting here. What else for Sagittarius? Two of Pentacles, a decision, weighing options, juggling multiple things, um, going back and forth, uh, trying to do it all, that kind of energy, which really goes with um, this rabbit energy here. I think it has to do with a partnership because I have the lovers reversed at the bottom, Gemini energy. So tell me about the person that Sagittarius is in a connection with at this time. What are their energies in this connection spirit? What are their thoughts or feelings towards Sagittarius or this connection? What energies are they bringing to this connection? Seven of Wands. Interesting. Look at that, that woman in this card. Very peaceful, unbothered, calm energy there. Even though there's opposition, even though there's, you know, all these people kind of wanting to compete or argue or uh, bring conflict, um, they're completely unbothered, which I'm glad I'm using this deck. Most of the decks in tarot don't have this type of image for the Seven of Wands. So, but it goes with this lamb energy. What else for this person that Sagittarius is dealing with what else can you tell me spirit about their energies at this time oh nine of swords so maybe your person's just peaceful on the outside maybe they have something to say that comes out of guilt or remorse maybe they don't want to show their true emotions here with the nine of swords this nine of swords is this rabbit energy. Maybe your person is seeing you as this worried, stressed, anxious. What else can you tell me? What else can you tell me for this? What else can you tell me for Sagittarius? This person? For some reason, I don't want to take cards yet. What else can you tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with? It's way too many. Five of Cups reversed. Okay. So I feel like the message your person wants to tell you, I feel like it's number one is a the message they've thought about for a while. And I feel like it has to do with something that happened between you in the past. I feel like your person wants to recover something. We'll clarify and see. So let's look at the mutual energies here. For Sagittarius spirit, what are the mutual energies between Sagittarius and this person? What are their mutual energies here? Oh, okay. Well, we got the strength card. Leo energy here and two of swords reversed courage to make a decision 
controlling the emotion when it comes to making a decision, not letting your emotions overwhelm you or affect you when it comes to making a decision. You could be dealing with a Leo. One of you could have Leo in your chart as well. Now the two of swords, I'm going to have to clarify that because when it's reversed, it can mean two very opposite things. It can mean um, on one hand, you've made the decision finally after being undecided um, or you refuse to make a decision. Maybe it's too much for you to make the decision. So we'll clarify and see. Spirit, let me clarify these messages for Sagittarius, please. Let's start with this strength card. Why is the strength card here? What can you tell me about strength? What can you tell me about strength? The chariot, another major arcana here. Cancer energy, moving forward, choosing a direction. What can you tell me about the two of swords reverse? Oh, okay. Well, that's too many, but I'm going to take them. Tower. What happened? What happened, Sagittarius? This is an unexpected shakeup of some sort. Something happened in your connection here. Um, maybe there wasn't very good communication or someone was or is emotionally closed off here. There's a small offer here with the Page of Pentacles. So either this offer caused a tower or someone used a tower as a chance to make an offer here, but there's something off with the King of Swords reverse. This is not a very good energy. This could be an energy that is maybe interfering in your connection, or it could be an energy that has to do with, um, bad communication or deception of some sort maybe that caused a tower i'm getting a lot of messages here i think i think a tower moment forced someone to make a decision regarding a new opportunity or or making an offer of some sort um i feel like they've you know this tower caused your connection something had to happen in your connection that was off balance uh, maybe either communication was off balance or maybe one of you wasn't really honest with the other, something like that. But I feel like despite all of that, you want to move forward with this person or they want to move forward with you because this is mutual energy. So both of you are in here. One of you could be the ones that want to move things forward, both of you or the other person. I don't think, I don't think whatever has happened has um i mean i have the queen of swords at the bottom you know that's that communication clarity again not a lot of emotion here there's like a con a controlling of emotions here i feel like this might be your person i feel like they look calm and collected on the outside but i feel like there there's a lot going on deep down but like I said, there's still opportunity or potential for success here, or at least someone wants to, to keep this going. So let's look over here. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of The world reversed. Unfinished business, lack of closure, unable to start a new cycle. I got one more for the Knight of Cups. This could be a delayed new beginning here. What can you tell me about this Knight of Cups, please? Empress reversed. So I feel like someone here is apologizing or, you know, it could go both ways. I'm getting a lot of major arcana here. Um, it could go both ways. Either someone wants to apologize for the fact that nothing has been able to really get off the ground here. Nothing has been able to be manifested or grown. Um, or they could be apologizing for someone interfering in this connection. Um, but for some of you, I feel that this could be someone expressing how they feel um, 
despite the fact that nothing has really happened, which is kind of strange. It's almost as if, it's almost as if there's a lot of setbacks and delays and, and false starts, but it doesn't keep someone's feelings from staying the same. And um, this could be you feeling this way towards someone else, that even though nothing has really taken off, Sagittarius, you still have the same feelings for this person, the same hope for moving things forward. Even though there's been a lot of disappointment and uh, heartbreak. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. What's the Two of Pentacles doing here? What's Two of Pentacles doing here? Queen of Swords. What else can you tell me about the Two of Pentacles? Whatever decision this is, or whatever options you are kind of like going back and forth about, you're doing it with a very clear mind, clear head here. Tell me more about the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Four of Swords. You're really reflecting, thinking, not taking a lot of action here. I think this has to do with, and there's Two of Wands reverse. I think this has to do with a path that you are choosing. Whether you should go on a whole different path, whether you stay or go, what to do about either this person or this situation. I feel like you're doing a lot of reflecting here about what, what has happened in your connection, but also what hasn't happened. So let's look over here. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Well, oh, that's way too many. Why is the Seven of Wands here? King of Pentacles. Stability. Someone grounded. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. King of Pentacles tends to be in a commitment. Some of you could be dealing with someone who's already in some sort of a, a connection. Or your person is very um, stable, grounded, and has you know not a care in the world here. Doesn't care who is standing in their way. Um, they stand up for themselves for what they believe in here. Can you get one more for the Seven of Wands? There's the Seven of Wands here. Yeah, I feel like your person's already in some sort of a connection here. Um, or is dependent on or not free of a certain situation. With the Nine of Pentacles reversed. I feel like some of you are definitely dealing with an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That Nine of Pentacles is my Virgo card. Um, does not have to be, but some of you are. Interesting. Maybe your person is not doing very well in the connection they're currently in. Maybe they're financially dependent or um, have some sort of attachment financially to someone. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Magician reversed. So this is something that's not being manifested. I feel like your person is worried about something that's not happening or that they're not able to make happen. Knight of Pentacles. I think it's that opportunity, that offer that they want to make to you, that message. I feel like it's very slow, um, partly because your person it does not have either the resources to make it happen or um, or there's a lot going on in their life that is keeping them from making this happen. And they might not appear like there's a lot going on, but I feel like there is. 
for some of you, your person is definitely facing opposition um, when it comes to making this happen with you. Like it's like a fight. And it's almost like your person wants to make an offer here, wants to go after something new, but they're trapped in some way uh, with the Eight of Swords. Um, either mentally trapped, um, you know, fearful, not seeing a way out of their situation, which is just causing even more delays, you know? I feel like in the, the, it's almost like they're hitting a wall when it comes to making something happen. Why is the Five of Cups reversed here? Why is the Five of Cups reversed? What can you tell me about this Five of Cups? Reverse. Page of Cups reversed. Heartbreak, disappointment. I feel like your person has been, you know, whatever hasn't happened between you, I think they're, they're sad about it. Emotional about it. Ace of Swords reversed. Interesting. Can I get one more for the Five of Cups reversed? This could be a message that's not coming, that's not coming through. Can I get one more for the Five of Cups reverse? Emperor energy. Aries, um, sign there and then the six of wands at the bottom so because the emperor is here and i have the page of cups reversed here uh i'm not going to take this ace of swords reverse as deception i feel like it's either communication that is not taking place at all or a blocked message um because the emperor is a no-nonsense kind of person. They do not, they don't deal with, um, I mean, they don't need to use deception to get things done. They're not that type of energy. Um, so I feel like your person here, when it comes to either they're really missing you, wanting to get you back, wanting to recover what they've lost with you, whatever those, you know, whatever the, the reason, I feel like there's something that they haven't told you about that. A message that hasn't come through here. But I think they're going to do something about it with the Emperor. I don't think your person is just going to sit back um, and just let things happen. I think they really are going to try to make something happen here with the Six of Wands. Success. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.